This video is for educational purposes only and is intended to promote awareness and understanding of cybersecurity threats. It does not encourage, support, or facilitate any malicious activity. All information shared is aimed at helping viewers improve their security practices and protect themselves from potential risks. Always use this knowledge responsibly in compliance with applicable laws. Hey everyone, I'm Cerberus and welcome to Malware Hell. I just deleted all my YouTube videos. Let me explain. Uh-oh, YouTube guidelines say no no to big meanie words. So now we talk little happy words. Malware is a meanie boo-boo that goes ouchy on pewters. We make learning vids all squeaky clean, like clickety-click on safe stuff. No bad boo-boo wear. Remember, this is for smarty time only. No naughty, naughty pewters. Gotta keep it super duper soft and squishy. Or YouTube timeout chair say bye-bye. Confused? That's okay. Let me be more clear. This is a kitchen knife. This is the happy side. This is the side that you could get a boo-boo. This is a pew-pew. This is the happy side. This is the side that makes it go pew-pew. If it goes pew-pew, then you may get boo-boo. Funny, right? This is malware. This is also malware. This is phishing. Still funny, right? No, this is absolutely serious and I am not laughing. The centering of educational content, including the analysis of malware to the extent creators like myself use infantile language like pew pew and others severely undermines the education of serious topics. It trivializes the threat posed by malware and hacking by reducing the capacity for meaningful learning and practical application. These threats are not as apparent as others, as I have just easily demonstrated. As such, the infantilization or prevention of discussing these topics in depth only insults the intelligence of our audience and creates barriers to understanding the complex concepts necessary for defending against cyber threats that we are all facing today. When platforms like YouTube enforce guidelines that necessitate this level of dilution, they are inadvertently hindering the dissemination of critical knowledge, leaving users less informed and more vulnerable to real-world threats. Effective education requires clarity, accuracy, and respect for the audience, who are all compromised under such restrictive policies. The centering of cybersecurity education resembles see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, which is dangerously naive. By refusing to speak about malware, see its mechanics, or hear discussions on hacking in great depth, we foster ignorance rather than preparedness. Threats don't vanish when ignored. In fact, they grow due to the ignorance of those being attacked. In cybersecurity, knowledge is defense. Softening or suppressing uh, the discussion about real world dangers leaves people unprepared and absolutely vulnerable. With all that said, the channel will proceed in the following way. One, I will not post any links to malware analysis on this platform or any links to anything at all for any reason whatsoever. My in-depth malware analysis blog and older videos will exist at an undisclosed location for which you will need to find on your own. It will not be linked on this platform. All future content on this platform, if any at all, will be diluted to being mostly infantile in nature and virtually useless in the real world. I will continue to stream on Twitch and Kick platforms with more in-depth topics on malware analysis and reverse engineering. For now, YouTube can do what they want as this is their platform. However, their policies currently uh, promote the perpetuation of ignorance in the cybersecurity field, in my opinion. I believe these policies to be immoral and misguided. I'd like to thank all of you who have viewed my content and have subscribed. If you see content on here for me in the future, unless the YouTube policy changes, it will likely be virtually useless. And I recommend following me on other platforms 
and getting educational content from my blog, which again will be at an undisclosed location. Stay happy, stay healthy, of course, stay safe, and I will or will not see you in the next one. Take care, guys.